Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter, if you're new here, I mainly specialize in nature photography. Earlier today, I went for a walk and I found some beautiful decaying leaves. And I thought, why not take some backlit shots? I've already got everything set up on my desk, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, we'll explain to you what I'll be using. We'll be taking extreme macro shots. I'm gonna experiment with different uh, settings, different lighting. Also, we'll be using my Canon 100mm macro lens as well, but we're gonna start with the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens. The last time I did this kind of photography, I only had my 100mm macro lens from Canon and I wanted to take a little bit closer shots. We're gonna start at two and a half X magnification and maybe test even five X, we'll see, but I rather stay at 2.5 X, that's the sharpest on that particular lens. When I'm out in nature and I'm not shooting wildlife, I always tend to be drawn to the abstract patterns and amazing textures. That's why I picked these leaves in the first place. I'm always fascinated by these amazing visual properties. Anyway, I don't wanna waste your time. Let's get started. This is my usual setup that I use for stack macro shots. If you wanna learn about my setup a little bit in more detail, then feel free to check out the video above. I've got my Gitzo tripod, which is a super sturdy tripod, very reliable. On top of that, I've got the four-way newer Pro macro slider. The macro slider has got the Canon ATD attached. As I said before, we will be using the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens. I also have a remote shutter release cable just to minimize vibration. For the backlighting, I'm using the Bowling P1 LED light, which is currently sitting on this little Joby tripod. So that's the setup. It's fairly straightforward. I'm going to start taking the shots now. I'm assuming the final stack will consist of approximately 20 to 30 frames maybe. Let's talk a little bit about the exposure settings. As this particular lens doesn't have aperture coupling, I can't bring the aperture settings up on the screen. I'll be shooting everything at f4. I have found it to be the sharpest based on my previous test, so I'll stick with that. The ISO is going to be base ISO, which is 100 on the Canon because we want to minimize noise. I've got the histogram displayed right now. I'm using evaluative metering, but I'll be underexposing by one st stop, I think. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I want those little filaments, connective tissue between those tiny little veins still properly exposed. I don't want them to be blown out whatsoever. I'm gonna start taking the shots now. It's looking good. I'm gonna just move slightly. and then stop. I say this in every single video of mine when I'm doing focus stacking, shoot as many shots as possible because you wanna make sure that you've got all the focal planes covered. We're finally coming into focus. So we'll probably be deleting these first few shots. I'm trying to make sure that I turn this control knob at very small increments. I just finished taking the images. We actually ended up taking 104 shots altogether, which is quite a bit more than I expected. I thought it was gonna be around 30, 40 images tops. This next subject is gonna be this partially decaying leaf where you can still see the healthy parts of the leaf, the blade, and also the disintegrated veins. I've got the second leaf all set up. It's sitting quite stable in the plasticine. I've lowered the shutter speed to one fifth of a second because the healthier parts of the leaf need more lighting and I didn't wanna change the intensity of the LED light, but everything else remains the same. ISO 100, the aperture is f4. The way I composed this shot, I wanted to have this major artery coming uh, down from the upper right corner. I really like diagonal lines and uh, also the contrast between the healthier parts of the leaf, the blade, and the decaying part, which is only about 30% of the frame. Anyway, I'm gonna start taking the shots right now. All right, so this second series is completed. I ended up reframing the shot because the leaf slightly moved in the plasticine. I also changed the angle of the light a little bit just to make sure that the exposure was as even as possible on each side. Now I'm gonna just upload all the raw files and then do a bit of editing in Lightroom, export them as JPEGs, then stack them in Zerine Stacker and do the final edit in Photoshop as per usual. If you're interested in uh, learning a little bit more in detail, in depth about my workflow, I've got a couple of videos linked in the description as well. All right, let's get onto the computer. So here are all the shots that we've taken. The first two batch were with the Laowa 25 millimeter ultra micro lens. And then the last three series were with the Canon 100 millimeter lens. We're gonna just import everything and go to the develop module. I've already got a standard preset here, which decreases the highlights 
by 10 points just adds a bit of contrast vibrant saturation and nothing else really this is gonna be the first shot that we're gonna start the stack from so I'm gonna get rid of the first nine images remove the lead and just apply this preset and sync it through synchronize everything except local adjustments and such so this is gonna be the first series i'm just gonna export these export first lava 25 millimeter put in subfolder untitled I ended up doing essentially the same basic editing for the subsequent images. For the first series, we'll be using 94 separate frames. For the second one, we've got 55. These both were taken with the Lao 25 mm ultra micro lens. We've got also three separate shots that were all taken with the Canon 100 mm macro lens at 1x life size magnification. First one had 29, the second one 18, and the third one. 14 shots now we're gonna just start stacking them in zirene add files go to desktop and we've got the lava 25 millimeter just select the top and then the bottom by holding down shift we've got all the input files as you can see all 94 shots on the left side what i tend to use is the pyramid maximum contrast algorithm what it's doing currently right now is stacking all the images finding all the sharp parts sections of each frame and also aligning the different layers for a final stack as you can see that the leaf slightly moved there's some artifacting at the top so we'll have to crop that out but that's not a big deal all right almost finished once that's done, I'm going to export it as a TIFF file just to retain as much information as possible. Save output image and then I'm going to just save it as a TIFF file, 16-bit. No compression, retain extended dynamic range. Save. We've got our final shots here the first one the second one third one fourth and the fifth i'm going to just open all of these files in photoshop and then do some editing what i'm going to do is just clean up the shot crop in you know where the artifacting is happening once the layers were merged together especially with the first frame the leaf must have moved quite a bit So that's gonna be the final crop looks a little bit too dark to me plus i'm not entirely sure whether i want to have this section in the frame so i might crop that out i don't really like that so what about this yeah that looks better I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and then add some curves just a little bit down there and then maybe move it down here just slightly that's a bit better very visible i'm gonna go to camera raw filter now add a little bit more contrast 25 percent Oh, the highlights are fine, I think. Don't want to move the black point either. Definitely more texture, plus... It's a bit too much, I think. Plus 35. More clarity. Yeah, about 30. A little bit more vibrance. Plus 19 and saturation as well. Plus 10. Uh, that's too much, 15. That looks pretty good to my eyes. And then detail, extra bit of sharpening. Normally I don't use the sharpening tool 
here I use the high pass filter but I think this is gonna be just fine plus 25 that's good hit OK so this is gonna be the final image I'm not gonna do more editing I'm quite happy with the image as it is won't be touching the colors either I think this golden color suits the frame really well if we zoom in you can see all these filaments they kind of remind me of cobwebs looks pretty cool I'm gonna do essentially the same basic editing for the other images as well and I'll show you the final results very soon <laughs> I think the final two images turned out pretty cool. I hope you like them. What I absolutely love about this concept of taking backlit shots of leaves that it is fairly easy, especially if you are not aiming to do a higher magnification where you need to stack multiple shots. If you end up taking just a 1x life-size magnification shot with a lens such as the Canon 100mm, then you can get away by just taking one single frame. If you are using a narrower aperture such as f14, that's gonna give you enough depth of field and sharpness through the entirety of the frame. So maybe start with that if you are not into higher magnification or if you don't have access to a lens such as the Laowa 25mm ultra macro lens, which by the way is an absolutely amazing lens. I've got a review, a full-on review, so feel free to check out that video as well. Thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, then please do so and see you guys very soon in the next one.